Hey everyone, John Daly here. I'm going to talk about the conscious abstinence from food. And obviously this is called fasting. Now a lot of religious traditions talk about this for, let's say, venerating certain deities or consciously giving a day of rest for the body. But I want to introduce it for a slightly deeper reason. And that is for getting our symptomatology back in our body, or getting our, let's say, natural impulses, getting back into a more natural rhythm. And when we do this, the signals that we get from our body for satiation, for, for hunger, for satisfaction, for having a regu regular bowel movement, the, the gastrocolic reflex. And when we get more of these signals accurately, we, we realize that by ignoring them, we're actually giving ourselves more suffering and more discomfort in the future. So creating more of this more of this state on a regular basis can really make life a lot easier because we've constantly just been living by these these outside stressors or these outside impulses that we get from culture, whether it be from constant imaging from commercials or um, constant prattling by, by your neighbor regarding th their day. Now, introducing fasting, I can go over a wide variety of things, but I want to cover kind of what it does for us physically, and certainly mentally, a very understated one, as well as emotionally, and more, more on actual a spiritual level with our awareness. So getting right into it, physically, obviously, when we are fasting, we're no longer taking in proteins, we're no longer taking in food that has, let's say, um, structure for the body to break down and metabolize as energy, or as new skin cells, or as new liver cells. So what this does is basically give our body a break. It gives our body a deep rest where we can now focus on cleaning the body or reducing the waste that's in our cells. So many people have certain detox symptoms when this happens because the body goes into okay like let's clean up mode and it starts taking out the broom and and wiping away everything so debris is cleared out um, even intestinal flukes are cleared out and flukes are basically like flatworms they're a parasite and even just in reading um, I go right here Hulda Clark's work again she wrote a book called The Cure for All Cancers I came across this book several years ago, but it basically talked about parasites being implicated in many, many diseases, including cancer, and how the intestinal parasite is actually the cause of many cancers, especially colon. So a very interesting book, and I'll post the link to something like that if you are interested. But her name's Hulda Clark, and she talked about parasites being um, in, our, in our system for a variety of reasons for isopropyl alcohol for a variety of reasons. I'll list a couple links that you can research. But these parasites, basically when you put no food in, they can't spread. They need food to multiply. So you give your body a rest from even one day to two days. I find four days can work really well. And the, the parasites have to die. They, they have no basis or they have no sustenance. So they get clearly pass through the body. They get eaten away by the metabolic enzymes. So physically your body gets cleaned out and you'll notice many many things from clearing skin to a regulating uh, digestive system and after you do start reintroducing food that your your bowel movements may become more regular. Now mentally we, we realize like how much we are thinking about food how much we, we think about um, what we're going to eat or how we're going to prepare it and this frees us up mentally for other aspirations and it can really open us up to a lot of creativity and if you do this regularly let's say one day a week you may notice certain things and beyond that the sky's the limit creativity flows through us naturally but when we get bogged down in a lot of mental patterns or addictions or habits, we can lose lose track of this. Now, emotionally, 
This is also another very good cleaning mechanism. We'll start brooming out a lot of our emotions because things come to, come to a head. Because if you think of, let's say Chinese medicine, talking about your attention really being healing, you're now focusing more on your personal experience rather than running away to, to food, which a lot of people do. And this has a very cleansing reaction. We spend more time liberating ourselves from this emotional residue. So even one day fast can really help us with this. And spiritually, it basically opens us up to a heightened awareness of why we're here, of why life is progressing the way it is. We're spending less time running away and more time coming into an awareness of, of the why, of, of the who, and of how we are here. And it's a very beautiful experience. Even, I remember doing like a fire ceremony which involved four days of fasting and essentially watching the fire on the last night. And all this does is kind of brings you back into a more magical instinct, a more, a, a more spiritual understanding of, of why you're here. And all I can say is fasting can be a beautiful experience for a lot of people. Definitely do your research on your current state of health but slowly integrating this into your life can really bring benefit and a more natural way of living. And lastly, when you do fast and you come back and your awareness becomes a lot more heightened, your food choices become a lot more heightened. And you feel um, your cravings can dissipate for, let's say, sugary or fried foods. And we can get back into patterns which kind of uh, alleviate this and go back into old patterns. But for the first couple of days, you'll really notice this. Uh, another thing that often happens is in our, in our current culture, our stomachs are so distended that they're pressing into other organs. And by alleviating food intake, we actually can have the stomach move back to or contract back into its normal size. Now, this obviously can help with overeating as well as um, proper functioning of the other organs. So perhaps this is a long video at this point, but it's a, it's a topic that I think is great. And many people have tried the Master Cleanse, for example, outlined by Stanley Burroughs, which is another wonderful book, um, Healing for the Age of Enlightenment. And this is essentially a, a liquid diet for, for 10 days, as well as saltwater flushing, which maybe I'll talk about at another point. But this is another thing that just brings heightened awareness and um, less, less emphasis on food intake and more emphasis on the experience. And even better would be to take days off and experience uh, the outdoors while you do this. But do your research and maybe fasting will be something for you to really bring back the digestive fire that Chinese philosophy talks about. If you have poor digestion, this is something that can help. I wish you the very best.